Today I will create a custom effect, I call it projection. Unlike the magnifier where we move it over the content for display, we define a fixed area and change the display by moving a target point. Here in the Fusion page a clip is brought in from the Edit page. First, connect a transform node between media in and out nodes. Add a rectangle mask node as the effect mask input of the transform node. To limit the sizing effect in the masked area, as we can see here. Next we create a crosshair for the target point. Add a background node to the editor. Load the background to the viewer by dragging the node to the viewer. With the background node selected, click the rectangle node in the toolbar to add a mask to the background node. Change the background color to red. I think red is good for a crosshair representing a target point. Change the rectangle width to 0.02, height to 0.001, which will be the horizontal line of the crosshair. Click the rectangle button in the toolbar to add another mask node to the background. We will use this to draw the vertical line of a crosshair. Enter equals in the center X field to enable expression input. We want to link it to the center point of the last rectangle. We also link the width and height to the ones of the horizontal line with expressions. But since the values are relative to the resolution, we have to add some adjustment to the expression as shown here. Now the crosshair is done, drag the output to the transform output. Load the media out node to the viewer. Move the crosshair to a different place. We will adjust the transform parameters to project the content where the crosshair is located. Select the transform node, connect its pivot point to the crosshair center, which is the center of rectangle 2. Set the center point expression to the formula shown on the screen. It's basically the, the distance between projection and target center, and add the center point of the screen. And we now have the content surrounding the crosshair area projected in the place we defined by rectangle 1. As we move the crosshair, the projection also changes. Next we will add a border to the projection area. Drag a background node to the editor. Press Ctrl C to copy rectangle 1 node, and right click and choose paste instance to add an instance of rectangle 1 node, which connects to the background as effect mask input. Merge the background node with transform one node as the foreground. Change background color to white. De-instance the solid parameter, then uncheck the solid option. Set the border width to 0.002, soft edge to 0.004. We also want to adjust the brightness of the projection. Drag the brightness and contrast node from the toolbar to the fusion flow, insert it between transform one and merge two nodes. Connect the rectangle one output to the brightness node as mask input. All right, now we are done with the effect. Next is to create a macro as an effect that can be used in the edit page. Select all nodes we added today. If you want to have the node control in a certain order, we can add them separately by control click so that they will appear in the same order as they are added to the selection. Right-click one of these selected nodes, choose Macro, Create Macro. In the Macro Editor window, change the macro name, for example, Essential Projection. And then pick all the parameters you want to export with the effect. In the File menu, there are two Save As options. I prefer the Save As group, which allows us to see all the nodes in the Fusion page, in the case we want to fine-tune some other parameters after the effect is added to a clip. In the Save As window, save the effect to the folder as displayed here. Go back to the Edit page, search for Essential Projection in the Effects Library, drag the effect to the timeline. Adjust the parameters in the Inspector panel as you like. That's it, now we have a reusable projection effect. Thanks for watching, see you next time.